how do you even start a video like this? <laughs> Being human is hard. We're back! We're back! In the United States! U.S. soil, baby! I think it's all kind of like hitting now that everything is changing. Everything has changed. There's this quote I love by Rupi Kaur that says, what is stronger than the human heart, which shatters over and over and still lives? I've never felt that more deeply in my soul than I do at this exact moment. We have officially crossed the border into the US and it feels like so much longer than three months and so much shorter all at the same time. The complexity of the human experience is vast. Beautiful moments of joy and bliss mixed in with just the right amount of pain to make you wonder if this life we're living is worth it all. Our lives these past three months in Baja have been the perfect representation of this. But we know, Danny and I, that we'll come out of this as happier, healthier people. It's what makes all of this worth it. Definitely gonna need these for the video. Are we surprised? How do you even start a video like this? I know that YouTube is full of clickbait videos. This is not a clickbait video. I started this journey through Baja in a van with my husband and I ended it in a bus with a friend. I think that this is the end of my travels for a little bit. Danny and I are separating. It's so weird to say that out loud. I never thought that I would make this video. No one wants to make a video like this. I guess I don't know where to begin, so I might as well just start talking. And while in Baja, Mexico, Danny and I made the decision to separate. The summer that we had the bus, there were several conversations of us separating. We both put it off hoping that things would get better over time, but they didn't. Our separation was a mutual decision. It wasn't the product of either of us doing anything stupid or anything that we regret. For all authenticity purposes, even though Danny's not right next to me, talking about all of this, he has watched this video. I won't specifically blame Baja or the van or our separation. I do think that there are circumstances within bus life, van life, going to Baja that definitely didn't make the situation any easier. Danny and I both discussed that he would take the van and our dog Remy and our puppy. I have moved in with my friend Liv and making my way up to Boise where Liv and I are getting an apartment. For me, van and bus life is coming to an end. I'm not really sure how I feel about that. Good thing I have these. Bus life was a dream that I had for a long time. It had been a dream that I had never gotten to fulfill until I verbalized that to Danny after a little convincing said that we should go for it. And without him, I wouldn't have been able to build that bus or convert the van. And I wouldn't have been doing bus or van life to the capacity that we did it. And for that, I'm very thankful. I am also equally grateful to be getting an apartment and have a routine again. I don't know what's next for Danny and I. We're giving each other space. And if the separation and the healing and the happiness that we both find apart from each other brings us back together, then that's something that we're both open to. And if it doesn't, that's also something that we're both open to. This is the human experience. Making difficult decisions, decisions that aren't easy, that affect the people that you love the most. I think that we all deserve to find exactly what makes us happy, to feel loved and cherished for exactly who we are. Life is complicated. My life isn't perfect. Danny and I's relationship wasn't perfect. That's why I've got the tissues. Being a human.
woman is hard. I was so nervous putting this out on YouTube. I know that a lot of the videos recently have been me and my perspective. It's gonna be different and maybe not so different because I'll still be emotional. <laughs> it just won't be a beautiful destination and in a van, but we've got a lot to learn together. I will see you soon. Bye, family.